We're back with John Voigt. And John, before we took the break, I said you had a special message for the people of America. I don't know what it is because you haven't shared it with me yet. So I'm going to hear it yes. as the people of this country hear it, but I'm anxious to hear it because I believe you have been gifted with extraordinary wisdom and insight into this nation's uh, particular predicament right now. Thanks. Thanks very much, Governor. Uh, this is a letter I wrote, and I'd like to read it to, for the American people. So uh, let me just say, in one year, the American people are witnessing the greatest lie that is cleverly orchestrated by President Obama and his whole administration. The lie is a potent aggression that feeds the needs of people who either have not educated themselves enough to understand the assault upon us all, or the very poor and needy who live to be taken care of. President Obama feeds these people poison, giving them the idea that they are entitled to take from the wealthier who have lived and worked in a democracy that understands that capitalism is the only truth that keeps a nation healthy and fed. Now, the lie goes very deep, and President Obama has been cleverly trained in the Alinsky method, and it would be very important that every American knows what that method is. It is a socialistic Marxist teaching, and with it, little by little, he rapes this nation, taking down our defenses, making new language for the Islamic extremists. The world who looked up to us as a symbol of hope and prosperity, now wonders what will become of the entire world if America is losing its power. The American people who understand exactly what is taking place have come together in the thousands, vowing to try to stay together as a unit of love and freedom for all men and women from all walks of life, shivering to think that this once great nation will be a third world company, uh, country. This will be the first president to ever weaken the United States of America. President Obama uses his aggression and arrogance for his own agenda against the will of the American people when he should be using his will and aggression against our enemies. Every loving American for peace and truth and the security of our nation must come out and join the Tea Parties in their states. The opposition will continue their tactics. They will lie and plant their own bullies amongst us. Everyone must pay close attention to who stands next to them. We can weed out the liars and agitators. Let us all stay in God's light. Let no man put us under. We can and we will prevail. God bless us all. John, thank you very much for sharing.